Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther Vision. Today, I'm going to show you how to achieve this 3D text effect that basically looks like some, uh, you know, stairs made out of text. So let's jump in. First, write out your name or your brand's name, which is going to be, of course, Panther. I'm going to choose the sign font, S, Y, and E. There you go. I'm going to choose the thickest one. Go to Object, Expand. Click OK. So now it's expanded. Of course, if you got these things going on, check this out. So if I gonna, basically you can separate these and if you apply the effects, then things gonna go wrong with these. So it's uh, it's really important to select them all and go to the Pathfinder. Just a sec, go to the Pathfinder, which is right here. If you don't have the Pathfinder, this option is usually not activated. So go to Windows and select the Pathfinder, which is located right here and go to the Unite. And from here, we're gonna make a square, press and hold Alt, drag it, press and hold Shift to rotate it. I'm gonna fit it right here. Select both, press and hold Alt to create a copy, press and hold Shift to rotate it. Okay, this one we perfect right now. I'm just gonna eyeball it real quick. Man, I'm such a perfectionist. Anyways, uh, select them all, right click group. And now the magic is going to start. Go to effects, go to distort and transform, transform. I'm gonna create a couple of copies. I, I'm thinking about four. So let's uh, scale down the horizontal and vertical. I'm gonna go with 72 right now and see what it, what is gonna happen. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Five colors we can apply. I could go with six, how about that? Okay, so go to object, expand appearance, right click on group, and now everything is ungrouped. So we're gonna recolor these. Um, I'm gonna use the base colors from here, from the swatches. I'm gonna start with, um, hmm, this one was the first one. That now we have the colors. I'm gonna create a new copy. Whoops, select them all, press and hold Alt, and drag it to the left. And we're gonna apply the effect on this. Go to Object, Blend, and Make. Now double click on this little thing, the Blend tool, and select Specified Steps. Add there 200, click OK. And now we have this beautiful gradient going on. Okay, create a new copy. Select Direct Selection Tool, which is located right here, as you can see, and select the pink ones. And press Delete, Delete again. Now you can see uh, on the top is the purple. Now we're gonna create a new copy of this. Go down, press and hold Alt to drag it down. Now we're gonna do the same. And the last one, which is uh, yellow, should remain intact because this is on the bottom and uh, the orange, I mean the green, sorry, it's on the top. And of course that is visible. What you see on the bottom, it's not visible because it's on the bottom basically. Okay, so we got all this transition going on as you can see here. Uh, from here, I'm gonna select them all like this. From here, press this little thing the vertical align center. And there you go, you should achieve this effect. Uh, you know, in some cases, some of these, for example, this one might go on the bottom and you might not see it. So you should select these, at least these two and put them to the bottom, right click, uh, arrange, send to back. As you can see, it's gonna appear but it should be there. So the main idea is to these things to be arranged correctly, you know, and this is how you play around. You know, you need to check them if uh, they're at the right place and move move them to the right place, you know, send them, send them to the back, you know, arrange them, send to back, bring to front, stuff like that. But, you know, in this case, everything arranged, everything is arranged correctly so far. I'm gonna press Control G to group these. Uh, we're gonna need to put this, I mean, all of them at least, 
except the yellow because we don't need the yellow in here. So I'm gonna move all this, put them to the top. If any of these gonna be on the bottom, again, right click, arrange, bring to front, and you know it's gonna bring the elements to the front. So select them all, arrange them, horizontal align center and horizontal align or vertical align, sorry. And everything is aligned. Next step, I'm gonna click on the first one, which is the pink. I mean magenta, double click on the color and I'm just gonna select a brighter color. There you go. This is how, you know, you're gonna basically create some better contrast. I'm gonna double click on this one and same trick. And it should look something like this. You also could ap uh, apply gradients to make it even more realistic and all that stuff, but uh, give me a break. I mean, I won't complicate myself right now too much. Just gonna add another background. Whoa, it's lagging because too many blends. Range center back, and there you go. We got this masterpiece. So yeah, this is it. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the other videos. Have a good one. Bye-bye.